welcome back. So today's video is going to be a really exciting one for me because it is my last video on Accutane or Isotretinoin, which I finally figured out how to say it after five months. So I apologize. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. And this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show all of my pictures from the start to now. So you can really see how much my skin has changed since on Accutane. And as always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Alright, so if you want to see how my skin has changed and what my side effects are for this fifth month, then let's just go ahead and get into the video. So I kind of keep the same type of format through all of these Accutane Isotretinoin videos. And I always like to mention how my skin was before I started the medication just so you can kind of compare how it is now and just like see the difference and everything so before I started I had combo oily skin and it was mostly normal on the out parts outskirts of my skin but then in the t-zone especially in this area and my chin very oily and now it's like dry so that kind of gives a little perspective into how much the medication really does change your skin. So for the fifth month I was on a dosage of 35 milligrams twice a day so I took one at breakfast and one at dinner and I feel like taking the medication with food really helped with my dryness. I know that some uh, like different brands of isotretinoin doesn't matter you can take it with food you can take it without. My uh, personal one which was Absorica I could take it without food but I read on the internet just doing lots of research and they said that if you take it with food it just helps with the dryness because it kind of helps like absorb into your body a little bit better so that's kind of a little tip in case you didn't know again 35 milligrams twice a day I get tons of questions on how, oh, what my dosage is and that there it is 35 milligrams twice a day so that's 70 milligrams a day that was the highest I went and I feel like that dosage because I was on that dosage for the fourth and the fifth month and I feel like that dosage was like the trick for me it just like really cleared up my skin and just like made a huge difference in the way my skin feels and looks. I'm going to kind of change up the format for this video a little bit differently so I'm going to go ahead and get into the side effects and then we'll go on with the pictures. So the fifth month uh, not really much has changed because like I said a few minutes ago I was on the same dosage as the fourth month. So really, I didn't have any new side effects to talk about or like that happened to me. It was just the same dryness, uh, muscle pain, joint pain, that type of stuff. Um, the areas that I did notice that I was getting uh, a little bit more drier than normal are uh, just my mouth area. So like the corners of my mouth were like really dry. I could just like peel off the skin. And then my lips in general are still really really dry I can just like peel off the skin on my lips it's really annoying it's really gross looking um but as for my entire face and body it's not dry I just like keep myself lathered in lotion all of the time so that may be something that has to do with why it's not like so dry but it's just my lips and just this general area has just been the driest and the most annoying thing for this month <laughs> and that's really the only side effect um, that's different but not really different everything else like I said is the same not having anything new so now I feel like we just need to go ahead and get into the most exciting part which is the pictures so instead of showing just the uh, month five I'm going to show from month one to month five so you can really 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 see how big of a difference my skin has changed I mean I'll show these pictures to like my friends and family and they're like what in the world I'm like I know it's crazy it's so crazy so let's just go ahead and get in with the pictures and then I will be back in just a minute or so and uh, we can wrap this thing up
crazy difference, right? It's so, so, so crazy. It's like, I'm just like, what? <laughs> my mind is blown. Before I started, I thought there was like no saving my skin. I thought it was just going to be like that forever. It was very, very painful. It was so ugly. You can see, you can tell me, I know. <laughs> and now it's just like my skin is just glowy. It's so smooth. It's just like, there's no texture on it whatsoever. And I feel like my skin has never looked better. Even before I was like having so much acne, my skin was still like textured and just in like weird places. But now it's just, it's just like perfect. And it's weird because I've never thought I would have skin like this because I've always had acne in some type of way. It started in high school up until now and I'm uh, 24 years old so yeah I never thought I would have clear skin so don't give up if you have acne there's something you can do for it <laughs> all right y'all well that was it for this series of Accutane videos it feels bittersweet to wrap it up because I'm like well I'm done with this journey but and it's kind of sad but at the same time I'm like so happy that it's over and that you can see the progress because it's just like phenomenal so don't forget to like the video if you liked it and found it helpful if you want to watch my other AccuChain series I have a playlist of acne related videos which includes I think like makeup tutorials for like acne and stuff like that and then I also have an isotretinoin or AccuChain playlist also so if you're struggling with those with like acne and stuff like that, I do have two playlists for you in case you're interested. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.